300 questions. Uh, is it running? Ah. Oh. Shall I be truthful about this? Yes. Dus uh, ja, we benaderden een uh, stuk zoals uh, de transformatie van, van, van Kafka. Uh, niet, niet heel evident natuurlijk. Het is een super wereldberoemd uh, stuk, uh, stuk wereldliteratuur, kanon. Uh, en uh, ik, denk, ik denk voor mij is het belangrijkste dat misschien Gregor juist niet transformeert. Ik bedoel, fysiek wel, maar het blijft Gregor. Dus als het gaat over een, uh, een, uh, een verwandeling, is het eigenlijk denk ik meer zijn... zijn biotoop, de uiterlijkheden die veranderen. Dus als heel, heel de buitenwereld verandert, als heel het externe verandert, wat doet dat dan met een mens? Wordt het dan een kever of kunnen dan nog mens blijven? Dus dit is een manier om het, uh, het stuk te bekijken. Dat is één. En het tweede, ik ben een grote fan van uh, de droom en de dramaturgie van de droom. En ja, het is ook zo'n dromerige, nachtmerrieachtige vertelling en ik wou eigenlijk zo... Uh, op, uh, op scène brengen. Dus dat zijn twee manieren om uh, het narratief te benaderen. En het, het andere plezierige om in dat materiaal uh, te duiken is, voor de zoveelste keer, want ik had het boek al een hele tijd niet meer gelezen, is dat je een beeld maakt van Gregor Samsa en van zijn familie, dat eigenlijk, eigenlijk beantwoordde het, bij het herlezen het niet meer aan het beeld dat ik daarvoor had van uh, die personages. Um, ik vind Gregor eigenlijk een beetje een onderkruiper. Ik vind, ik vind het een lieve man uh, maar, en, en een grappige man, maar dat is misschien uh, buiten zichzelf om, maar het is een beetje een, een onderkruiper. Um, hij heeft ook wel wat weg van, uh, van een Joseph K. Of zo. Soms is hij een beetje arrogant, soms is hij heel menselijk. Um, maar maar het is, het is een, je hebt er wel mee te doen. En dan wat de familie betreft, die zijn eigenlijk een pak vreselijker dan dat ik, dan dat ik me eigenlijk herinnerde. Uh, die vader is lui, die moeder ja, die hangt maar wat en die zus is eigenlijk, eigenlijk verschrikkelijk. Zoals Kafka schrijft, die ligt de hele tijd in het bed, uh, lang te slapen, mooie kleren te dragen en voor de rest doet hij eigenlijk niet echt veel. Dus ja, dat, uh, dat ontdek je dan maar. Hè. Ja, zo... So I've always been interested in, in, uh, ah, I've always been interested, uh, oh, I'm talking English suddenly, but that's okay, we go for the English vibe. So I've always been interested in, uh, in, in bugs or insects or, or that kind of um, uh, weird little creatures uh, for a couple of reasons. First of all, because they, they live under rocks and in the dark and in the moldy stuff, so they're a bit hidden from reality, like it's stuff we're not supposed to see. And I also like the microcosm of insects. So it was also a way of uh, looking at the play, like it's actually a couple of, not just Gregor, but it's, it's the whole family. It's, it's bugs in a, in a biotope with Gregor in his mini biotope. It's, we're looking at a terrarium filled with bugs um, and the world is not supposed to see some of the things that we see. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Yes, costumes. Um, I have a big passion for costumes, but I'm not a costume designer. Uh, you'll see what I mean when you see the costumes. Uh, but, I, I, you know, my, my thing is like an actor, um, an actor has to play the piece. So I can suggest what they say, I can suggest what they do, and I can suggest what they wear. But at the end, they have to do it. So they have the ultimate say so on their lines on what they do and on their costumes. If they don't like it, they don't have to do it. So we decide this a bit uh, together and at the end they decide. So also for costumes, um, me, the players and Isabel, we um, start from what is in the house, what is in the, in the stock of costumes. And, and we start there, we start with black outfits because I think black is always cool. Uh, so we start from black and then sometimes we add uh, something playful or a color to it. But they try stuff and if they like it, we keep it. If they don't like it, we change it and we, we take it from there. It's, uh, it's uh, quite an inexpensive way of clothing people. So we're very economically conscious about our costumes. I, on the other hand, am very, very expensive.
think it's uh, I, I think it's uh, I think it's fun rehearsing here. And I think we have a, a great rehearsal stage where you can try stuff. It, the, the place really says work, do stuff. Uh, I like the ensemble a lot, at least the people I met, because they're very eager, they're very hungry, which is very nice. They like working um, as far as actors work. Uh, but but seriously, they're very they're very hungry. They're very energetic, which I which I like a lot. Um, at home, I have the, the the great privilege of of working with the same people for more than twenty years. So so it's it's nice um, to meet new people and to find an eagerness to try something new instead of being you know director number number that much. I find that genuinely interested in what we're building uh, together. Um, I think a, a, a very big difference between working uh, in my city and working in German theatre in general is I think there's more practical possibilities. Uh, I think there's in Germany a lot more rules to abide by and I'm very sure that these rules have a reason that they're there but but um, I think in my, in my own theatre space it's easier to, if I want to bring liquids in or dirt, we can do it like this, it's no problem. In Germany you have to sort of announce it a bit beforehand. Also, my actors clean up themselves. We don't have people that clean up for them. That aside, it is great fun working here. And I'm not just saying that, I, I, truly, I truly mean that. Um, and I think I think it's about ultimately about being having freedom to make what you want to make. I think this is very important. It, it was once very important, and I think now it's more important than ever that you are free to make whatever you want, as long as you don't purposely hurt people. But I think it's okay if sometimes people get hurt or don't like what you make. I think it's always worth the discussion and. Uh, so yeah, it's good to uh, it's good to be able to do what you want to do. I feel safe by that to be able to do what I want to do, and I like to feel safe. Oh, uh, a premiere, yes, uh, always ambiguous. Uh, I'm always in the theater. I'm I'm always in the room itself. I I I would not like the players to do a play and that I'm not there for them. Um, I have to tell you something. If the play goes wrong, sometimes I interfere. Sometimes I shout from the audience or even step on stage to correct it. It didn't happen a lot, but if it really goes bad, I, I come in there. Uh, but I'm always very nervous. No, I don't mind, but a bit higher. Yeah, good like that, yes. Um, so. So I'm, uh, I'm always in the room. Uh, I think it's exciting to see a play. I, th I feel with them. Uh, um, I never, I, I hate it to take a bow at the end. Uh, I know you're supposed to, but that I don't like. I'm too, uh, too, uh, too shy for that many impulses. So um, I'd rather not do it. So I'm in the room. So good director. I feel with the actors. Good director. I don't take a bow. So, so director, I don't know, and uh, and yeah, that's it. that's it. Is that a good answer? Is that a good answer? I'm not sure. Do you think? Uh, is, can can we? Is it? Let's and shut and cut.